It is the Washington State Golf Association Men's Amateur Championship here at Gamble Sands. Nate Schroeder with the WSGA joining us now to talk about this particular tournament. First of all, why Gamble Sands? Well, uh, we always want to showcase the best venues in the state. Uh, Gamble Sands, being relatively new, hasn't had an opportunity to host a championship of this caliber. And um, we wanted to get out here as soon as we can. Um, it's been a couple of years that it's open now, and words out that it's a, a fantastic venue and a, a great uh, challenge. And uh, we wanted to come out here and, and show it off to the best players in the state. Let's talk about this amateur and uh, what's the age range and what? Uh, how big is this field? We've got players of all ages. Um, anybody with an 8.4 or lower handicap that's a member of the WSGA is eligible. Um, so our youngest is uh, probably 15 or 16, and uh, we've got a few um, seniors in there, so we're probably going up to around 60. Um, that's a 120-player field. And you've got uh, some guys that are playing here this week that uh, have had some success in this particular event in the past, right? Yeah, we, we have three past champions. Um, we've got the 2016 champion, the 1994 champion, and the uh, 1975 champion. So we got a wide range. Um, we've also got a lot of players back from uh, the last couple of years who have, have played well. The top 20 from the previous year are exempt from qualifying. We've got a number of them back. Um, and we've got, got some guys, uh, mid-ams, that have played well and uh, had a lot of success here. Well, Nate uh, took me out on the course. This is actually my first time seeing Gamble Stands, and it is quite the layout here in Brewster. Um, talk about what goes into selecting a course for this type of event. Um, well, we have to look at, obviously, with the 8.4 uh, handicap, something that's going to be a real challenge and a real test to those players. Um, length is certainly a factor. Um, guys hit the ball a long way, especially out here. So um, I wouldn't say length is it limits uh, us completely, but um, we do need to find a golf course that's got the length to, to really test these players with how far they hit the ball. Um, and so that, that's a big factor. And also just the challenges are going to find around the green, uh, 100 yards and in is really where you score. And uh, out here, that's, that's a challenge. You have to be creative. So um, you know, we, we really look for a golf course that prevents a, or presents a challenge in all facets of the game. Well, and this is a little unique, I'm sure, from a lot of the courses you choose because Brewster is not necessarily a metropolis by any stretch. And so you've got a three-day event and you got to find places for people to stay and things like that. Yeah, exactly. There's not many locals here. Everybody's kind of traveling. You know, there's a couple of obviously from Menachee and players that don't have to travel quite as far, but it's a destination, um, but it's, it's worth the trip. So what are these guys playing for here over the next three days? Uh, they're playing to uh, get their name on the John Bodenhammer Memorial Trophy, uh, uh, or perpetual trophy, I should say, not memorial. But uh, they're they're really playing to to call themselves a state champion. Um, a little bit. There's there's a payout to the pro shop, uh, small amounts for the winners, but uh, it's really mostly about um, a pride and honor and being able to say that you won, got your name on the on the trophy. So besides the 8.4 uh, handicap coming in, do they have to qualify for this event, or how do you guys sift through? Because I know you probably have more guys that want to play this than actually you have room for. Yeah, we did. We had um, almost 300 entries total. Um, we have a number of exemptions. Uh, the criteria is based on play from the previous year in this event and, and a number of other events that are on our points list. And outside of that, we had 3D uh, regional qualifiers, um, one on the east side in Walla Walla, uh, a couple in the Seattle area in Bremerton and DuPont. Um, so everybody, for the most part, uh, we had 31 exempt players, and everybody else is qualified uh, at some point in one of those three qualifiers. Talking with Nate Schroeder with the Washington State Golf Association here for the men's amateur at Gamble Sands here in Brewster. Um, this course can play well over 7,000 yards. Uh, I know you guys kind of uh, changed the course a little bit on how you want to set it up. How is it set up for this particular three-day event? Um, so on the scorecard, it plays as a par 72. Uh, we're playing at par 70. The seventh hole and the 18th hole have been uh, shortened up par fours. For us and it's still playing over 7,000 yards. Uh, the official yards today I think is 7,044 yards. Um, so it's still a good test especially at, at a par 70 um, but the golf course plays fast. Uh, the ball really moves along the ground um, so it rolls a long ways. You need to account for that and when you you know a lot of golf you see on TV you see the pros flying it right in and sticking it right by the hole and that's not that easy to do out here you got to be a little creative you got to play some of the slopes that are around the greens you can play slopes in the fairways as well at the tee to really get yourself extra yardage and 
and also to get yourself at the right angle. Some of these whole locations that you can set out there and some of the greens, if you're not looking at it from the right angle, it's pretty hard to get to, and you're going to put yourself behind the ball a little bit in uh, what you need to do to, to get near the hole. So with this field of competition, uh, I know you had a practice round probably for most of these guys, the first chance to play this course. Yeah, so uh, a practice round is included with the entry. Um, but it's it's optional for the players to to take it. So there there are a couple probably seeing it for the first time, and there were even more that saw it for the first time just yesterday in their practice round. So um, there's a couple that we held, held our mid amateur championship here a couple years ago. Uh, our mid amateur champion from that year is in the field along with a number of others that played. So. Uh, it's definitely a golf course where if you've been around it a couple times, you have an advantage because the first time flying out there uh, blind, you, you don't see some of some of the things that you do when you get near the green. You, you hit a shot and you see it react uh, a way you weren't expecting, and you log that in your memory, and you know the next time you go around. Sure. So the guys that the guys that got their practice round in, the guys that have played a few times, are going to have a step up on the field. With such a, a long history with this particular tournament, uh, 92 years, this is the 92nd of this particular tournament. Um, I know you've played in eastern Washington quite a bit, uh, going back and forth across the state. But we've got temperatures in the hundreds, and we've got a little smoke from fires in north central Washington. What kind of precautions and what kind of message do you send to the players in, in this kind of heat? Well, really stay hydrated. Uh, we've got bottled water and coolers out there on uh, every other hole throughout the golf course. Um, so we're, we're preaching on the tee. Uh, you know, make sure you're staying hydrated. Drink water. Grab a couple extra with you. Don't get left without it at, at any point. And certainly uh, there's a few guys, push carts, that are, are smart enough to bring the umbrella because once you get out there, there's no shade <laughs> after that. So there's, there's nowhere to hide. So format, how, did, how does it go through the days? Uh, do you narrow the field down? Yep, so after 36 holes of stroke play, we cut to the low um, 60 and ties for the final round. Okay, yeah. all right. Um, I, I wanted to ask about Gamble Sands and working with Brady and, and the crew here. Uh, I know this this is, you know, probably over a year in advance that you decide, okay, this is where we're going to play. How has that been working with these locals here? Oh, they're fantastic. Uh, the The whole staff out here, Brady, as you mentioned, is, is great. Um, Chip Caswell, the superintendent. Uh, Teresa Blackburn, food and beverage has just been been fantastic to work with. They're they're easy. Um, they they want this to to be the best event that it can. Mm -hmm. Same thing that we want. So um, it's been a great relationship. And we've we, as soon as Gamble Sands opened, we got in contact right away. We came out and said, hey, we know how special this place is. We've seen it, and they know what they have, and they want to I want want to show it off to these players. And it's it's easy to get that done. Well, you talk about uh, professional level, uh, you could easily see this on TV uh, with the PGA Tour. Um, we passed Chip out on the golf course, and that's, that's something you mentioned, too, that, you know, he's kind of a little surly looking. And he, you know, what he would like is for the course to play tough, right? Yeah, well, the course is going to play tough. Um, it, it's, a, it's a challenging golf course. Um, certainly, he's got it in unbelievable condition right now. Um, the, the greens are a little faster than their normal resort play, um, being the, the level this uh, field is. You know, we wanted to get them sped up a little bit. So there's certainly a lot of challenges out there. The fairways are wide, but finding the fairway is just the start of the battle out here. So it, it'll be tough. Um, but at the same time, it's a very scorable golf course. Um, you The ball does carry a long way. So uh, if you're hitting your driver straight, you're going to get a lot of roll out here, and you're going to be able to get some shorter clubs into the greens. And... If you know how to use the right slopes and you know how to get to the right locations, you can set yourself up with some, some easy birdie looks and uh, you can get yourself even some eagle looks out here, quite a few. Well, it's called Gamble Sands for a reason because this is basically a huge sandbar uh, above the Columbia that they uh, put this golf course on. And there's a lot of sand out there to play with, too. But I think the design is kind of fun looking at it because it, you got to think your way around this course, too. You really do. Uh, and David McClay kid is obviously world renowned, and he did a, a fantastic job out here. There's a lot of a lot of risk reward. I mean, the gamble really really fits the golf course because you can you can gamble and you can be rewarded and you can have to drop a few shots just to pitch out sideways on some of the bunkers or you can set up with some some shots that really look possible until you hit it and then you it might feel a little <laughs> foolish for even trying at some of the spots you can get into here. 
Uh, let's talk about what this means. You know, there's obviously the tourism aspect for a Brewster and and uh, with with the uh, folks. And you see some families that are out here, you know, cheering on their their kids or their husbands, that type of thing. Um, beyond that, though, I mean, you've got 130 guys now that are going to go back to their home courses and talk about Gamble Sands. Yeah, exactly. I mentioned earlier that the word's out, but this only helps to spread it because you, people hear it's great. You hear it down the line, but that's 120 people now that are going to go talk to everyone and say, I had a fantastic time this week. Yeah. And, you know, it, it, the golf course is great. It's it's worth every penny to get out here and it's worth your time and effort to, to make it and come see it and play and enjoy it. Well, Nate, thanks for taking the time to talk to us on the NCW Life channel. Uh, good luck for the rest of the tournament, and thanks for taking me on the tour today. Absolutely. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate yeah. it. Nate Schroeder joining us here as we're at the Washington State Golf Association Men's Amateur at Gamble Sands on the NCW Life channel.